So, getting ready to start on here. What a mess. And then uh, we've got, I'm not done by any means with this, but we've got a long ways on it. And uh, got a lot of welding grinding to do. But much better than it was. We need to get the doors made, get them on. And, you know, it's going to be as good as it's going to get, and that's it. But we're going to do all the welding and then grind the weld. And not, we're not going to bond over anything, so it's going to look as good as it's going to look, and that's it. So still better than having dents and holes. So this is next. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a piece bent up. And then we're going to come in here, cut these bolts off, and get this piece out of here. So evidently what they had was a piece of sheet metal that went down and in, and then they had a piece of metal, uh, I don't know how thick it was, pretty thin, that capped over top of it just to strengthen it, I guess. So we'll put a piece over it. We might even use a piece of angle or something over it, but we're gonna go ahead and bend this piece. It's gonna go in, in two inches and come up five inches. And I should be able to, uh, I can't go really, really any taller. There's a window track. It's just had a roll up window. So there's a window track above this and as much as I'd love to just replace this whole side, we're just gonna go ahead and do the bottom section. And we'll try to do a little hammering on some of this. It's not perfect by any means, but <clears throat> anyway. Uh, but that's our main thing. I did pull out this bottom panel a little bit and it's pretty straight. It's not bad. I don't have a tag. I'm hoping I can find another tag to put back on this thing. I'll show you what it looked like. It was tore all to pieces, of course. Unit Crane and Shovel Corporation, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And uh, I'd love to find one of them, but I don't know that I ever will, but I'll keep an eye out. But you know, emblems like that, when people take them off of machines and put them on like eBay, they bring big money. And uh, so sometimes, you know, somebody that's restoring a piece of equipment can't afford to buy a piece of uh, you know a piece to put on his equipment because somebody's gonna pay big money for it to hang it on a wall and so it kind of hurts the the restore or the person well this ain't a res restoration so this is we're just trying to put this thing back together so all right let me get to work we're gonna go and get a piece cut out and get it bent and we'll go from there we'll clean the bottom side up get it off put it on and then we'll just cut like we've been doing after we get the piece on or you know get the piece up there and that'll trim out around it all right okay folks i got the sun on my back today so hopefully these will come out not looking too stupid you know the sun's so bright you can't see the screen and you don't never know whether you're getting them little sunspots or whatever in there but anyway i think with the sun on my back I should be okay uh let me see we got it off the rusty stuff on the bottom as you can see so I just bent this up and slid it up in there you can see it's gonna match up nice and we'll end up trimming and cutting it out like we need to cut it out but what I'm gonna do is there's four holes in this plate down here that bolted down through so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark where them holes are on the floor. Okay, the way we're gonna do this to be able to drill these holes is we'll first take this marker and come straight out and put a straight line. Okay, so we know where the hole's at. Now, what we'll do is come in with the measuring tape and it's really hard to do with one hand. Anyway, we go to the center of the hole We'll just come out, let's just say four inches, and put a mark. So we're four inches. So once we put this plate in there and we can't see that hole, we know to measure four inches in right on this line. And then we can just drill the hole and we know where it's at. So we'll do that. We'll clean the floor up and stuff first, of course, but we'll do that. And then uh, that'll get us in the ballpark where we need to be and go ahead and drill them. And then, uh, We'll get some bolts in them. Okay, folks, uh, we've got it up there, starting to cut it out. You can see how I cut it. Uh, just cut up close to it. And uh, 
try not to mess up. Don't look like I've done the best job in the world, but we can weld her up. Uh, just gonna keep going until we get it set in there and tacked in place. I can push it in now in particular places until it's level and then go ahead and tack with it because I can take that extra piece out from the back side. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, folks, pretty much got it cut and uh, in place. Now we got a little repair to do around the corner and a little bit right here at the bottom. We got a lot of dents to deal with and stuff. So, and this comes down some, so there's a gap, but it's just gonna be that way. Uh, this frame is really heavy, so it's hard to deal with without actually cutting it and welding it back together. We've got to drill our holes and then put us a, uh, a piece in. It shouldn't be a issue there. Uh, still gotta get the, I'm just get the old piece out of there too, or we just cut it. So, all right. Okay, folks, I've been moving along without you. I uh, sort of misplaced my camera. Then I misplaced my safety glasses. So I found my camera while I was hunting from the safety glass. So we got a lot of it spotted in. Uh, we've got it bolted in. I didn't do a plate, I just done bolts. Uh, and the reason I didn't do a plate across the top like they had done is because there was a lot of uh, rust in there. The water got between the plate. I know it's going to get between the floor and this board, but I mean, it's, if I'd added a plate on top, that would just been another place. So we're going to just leave it like it is, and we're going to try to dry this thing in before too long. Maybe get some windows in it so it don't leak uh, real bad. Anyway, the window on this side was a roll-up. All the others, well, I guess except the front one. The front top would have had a frame, and about where this fold is right here, it's where the windshield the permanent one would have went from here up to that boat. And then there'd have been another one that would slide up and over top of you. Now I don't have any of that track, so we'll have to just work with what we've got and we'll figure it out. Now you can buy this rubber, a universal rubber that will go in and hold in a, you know, a window glass. So we'll get, you know, hopefully get this one and then maybe the uh, side one over there. I think it was a slide and it looks like it might've had a double window, sliding window. Uh, maybe that little back oval window. I mean, it's a shame that, you know, we're even having to do this, but, uh, you know, of course, the glass was going to be the first thing to go. You look at the body of it, you know, the glass is all gone, every single piece of it. So I'm over here working, cutting the panel out for this side. And again, this is, this is sheet metal I got from a friend of mine. You can see it's got some weld beads on it here that we're going to have to grind off. It don't matter. I went ahead and bolted this shut. Them, them hood tops are really bowed. And I don't think I ever need to take that hood off unless I was gonna pull the engine out or something. So I think we're just gonna leave them down, leave them bolted down. We'll take this off and replace the, the wing nut. But yeah, just keep them down to where, you know, to keep the water off my engine and all. And uh, I can get to them from the side just fine. Now we're gonna put two handles on here. These actually close a lot better when you're pulling them than they do when you're trying to push them because you can guide them a little better. And you know, the track's not perfect, of course. This is an old machine, so. But, uh, but it seems to be working fine. And I'm just getting ready to cut the next piece. And we was able just to leave it to full length. And which was about, it was 49 inches. So between here and there was less than eight feet, so. It worked out good, so we're going to overlap it now. I'll show you how the other one was bent, and we may or may not bend it. Okay, the way they've done this, it looks like they welded handles on it. Well, that might not even be factory, but uh, there's a little bend. It goes up and that way. They've done that so they wouldn't slide together and probably wear the paint off. So we may do a bend on it. Uh, I'll probably have to wait and get my son to help me. This is, you know, when you start getting over four foot and the press brake, it's kind of hard to handle by yourself. And of course, not to mention how dangerous it is, but uh, you know, a couple fingers, I guess it'll be all right. But uh, so we may do this bend. And to do that, we'd have to bend it out and then flip it over and bend it back in. And we'll just do a really slight, slight bend on it. Okay, folks, both panels cut and on on this side. Got to get my handles. Uh, got to put the cap on the end there, but I'm gonna wait and maybe bend that one. But as you see, they overlap good. So they ought to 
work really well. They seem to be sliding in the track real easy, so I think we're not going to have any problems there. Then we've got this side bolted down also. And like I said, I'm going to leave the hood bolted. I don't think I, don't think I need to worry about it too much because, I mean, you can access everything from the sides. So. And that'll keep it from flapping and bouncing and, you know, like I said, it didn't line up at all. <laughs> it's terrible, but that's okay. So everything's going to work out just fine here. I don't know. The only thing really that is major left is this side right here. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to straighten it up or not. This is all going to get welded in. Once I weld all of it, I'll grind it smooth it out the best I can and you know let it go and I'll show you some of that okay this machine here I extended this thing two inches and put a diesel in it but I've done that years and years ago so this bolt here used to be in this hole so I actually cut well I didn't cut it was already cut but I mean I made a piece and added to this to make it longer and I just ground it and same way through here there is a a weld long ways you can see a little bit of it right here but uh, just ground it welded it and ex you know they extended it out same way here that's why this is smoother than this was pitted but uh just added i think two inches looks like it might have been three inches maybe so anyway we're going to do the same thing on that sheet metal basically is just grind it and paint it okay folks we're going to do a boom test with forklift, we're gonna know how much it weighs too. Got it zeroed out. I have not checked the weight yet, so I'm guessing 9,200 maybe. It's a 5,000 pound lift, so let's see what happens. lighter than I thought it was and we'll check and see how far out we are from the center point and see what it looks like all right. all right folks no problem picking it up okay so this machine should pick up this weight at 15 feet out and we're 17 feet from the center so we're actually over the limit of what it's supposed to be capable of so uh, I think it's doing a good job and was able to bring it up hold the brake and it held it. it held it just fine so I feel safe uh, picking up this kind of weight so we've got a good distance between here and the front of the machine so I think we'll be doing just fine with our our steam engine or our boiler you know if we bring it in some so and I don't have the boom straight up I mean it's back a good ways so I think we'll be all right and uh, the machine's sitting sort of downhill because I got the back half on the concrete and the front half off it's not helping anything but that's okay but anyway I just wanted to do a test on it while I had the forklift up here close okay so we picked up that bus this morning and these were laying in it so these are going to become my new handles for that all right folks we got them on there I like them We'll have to clean them up. Maybe take them off when we paint it, but that'll work. I guess we're gonna end this here and we'll get back on it here. And I got some other things I gotta do, but we're gonna try to get this thing, hopefully, maybe, possibly, some paint on it toward the weekend. And we'll see how that goes. It's coming right along though. It's, uh, I think it's gonna be a good machine. So, all right, appreciate everybody watching. Till next time, bye.